Hey there friends, Killstar here. We're talking about pulse width modulation today. Um, this is going to be a fairly quick and simple tutorial. Hopefully you will get something out of this so that you can grasp these key concepts and put them into practice um, when creating your own lead sounds or pad sounds. Um, it's got a quite distinctive effect, um, which I'm sure you've heard before. So without further ado, we'll get into it. I'm using Diva. If you have Diva, you can follow along with me. Head over to the patches section um, under the templates folder, we're going to find the init June 60 patch. Now, this patch already has pulse width modulation programmed into it, which is why I selected it, so you can hear what it sounds like straight off the bat. Um, also, to further your understanding, I'm going to head over to the scope section. This gives us a graphical representation of um, what we're playing, so you can maybe grasp the concept um, visually as well as, um, you know, audibly. So let's have a listen. That movement that you're seeing and hearing is pulse width modulation. To make this a bit simpler, um, I'm going to turn off the second oscillator, which is the sawtooth. I'm going to turn that off. Now, how does this work? We've got um, one oscillator here, and we can choose from a number of different shapes. The first shape is a pulse wave, which is a symmetrical pulse wave, which is kind of like a square. It's kind of a hollow um, sound to it. The second option here for the pulse shape is um, a non-symmetrical pulse wave. So it's got a, a wider start and then a narrower end to it. Have a listen and have a look here. So as you can see, it's a bit sharper has a bit more harmonic content to it. The final one, as we've heard, is a combination of these two. It modulates between thick and thin automatically over time. And that's the PWM shape or pulse width modulation shape. So it's pretty simple, have a listen. So that's basically it. Um, I wanna show you just a couple of things on the left-hand side here. Um, if we go to the LFO2 slider and just double click that, that will set that back to zero, which means that we're not gonna hear any modulation. It's gonna be just like that non-symmetrical pulse wave. Um, we can manually um, affect the shape or the, um, the width of that pulse by sliding this up and down. Have a listen and have a look down here as well. Excellent. So as you can see, when I drag it down, it becomes thicker. When I drag it up, it becomes narrower. Um, and as I drag it up and down, I'm manually modulating the pulse width, which is giving us that effect. But I guess the whole point of it is not to do it manually by hand, but to get something else to do it for us. Um, and that's where this LFO2 comes in. Now in the center position, it's zero, so we're not hearing anything. But the further away we drag the slider from the center position, um, the more pronounced the effect, the more intense the effect will be. So have a listen as I drag this up. So we're getting some subtle pulse width modulation there. Let's pull it up a bit more. And that's basically, it goes in both directions. So you have positive and negative. And the final thing I would show you is um, that you can adjust the rate, so how fast it actually modulates. And that's selected by that um, knob down here, which is labeled rate. So. As I pull it up, you'll hear it go faster. As I pull it down, it'll go slower. Have a listen. Excellent. That's all I've got to show you for the moment. Um, there are some more things to learn but I wanted to keep this one fairly simple and quick just something that you get hands on with and you know get started with straight away so um, if you like this video 
um, give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, that kind of usual stuff. Um, I just wanted to thank you guys for the support that you've been showing so far. I mean, this particular tutorial is actually a direct result of another viewer who's commented on another video of mine asking specifically for me to cover this topic. So um, if you have some ideas, questions, or suggestions for what you'd like to see next, um, drop me a comment and I may very well do a tutorial on it. It can be anything from, um, you know, synthesis, um, analog synthesis, subtractive synthesis, to um, music composition, uh, music theory, audio production techniques, um, melody, chord progressions, anything like that. So just hit us up, anything music related, and I will do my best to get back to you with a, a video. So apart from that, um, you know, keep making music, guys. Keep um, playing around. Have fun. And until next time, peace out.